This is video number two and the uh, process. Um, I think that we, we spoke about this in the past. The way the website works is simple. If a caregiver already exists in the website, anyone can um, rate this caregiver. If the caregiver does not exist, they can suggest, they can send you information via a form so that you can implement this new caregiver. So right now we do, have, do not have any caregivers here, okay? And we have two sections. We got the search a caregiver and then rate a new caregiver. In this one, we can go ahead and submit a new caregiver. So, this is how this is going to happen for you, unless you already have people that you want to implement yourself right away. If not, once other viewers start to send you the information, this is how this will happen. Let me show you. My name is... Uh, um, Joe, for example, I want to rate a new caregiver. Therefore, I try this caregiver and I want you to list this person in your website. My first name is Joe Martin. Phone, I don't know, bye bye bye. And here's some email. Okay. Now, caregiver's information. His name is Thomas Anderson. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to, you can put the, the last name right underneath. And the city is going to be Miami, Florida. And Florida, I'm sorry, right here. There we go. Okay. I keep scrolling down. I want to give a little bit of uh, information about this caregiver, so I will say that um, Thomas performed a great job, and my mom was um, very satisfied with his bed man. Okay. I keep moving down and now uh, I want to rate this person. Remember, I am, my name is Joe, I'm just a user. I just got to your website and I want you to get this person listed in your website. I'm gonna choose based on the information here. I will choose four, 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 five, okay? And then I submit this information. That's it. It's been done, okay? So now, if I go uh, to my email, not as Joe, but as the webmaster, now this information was sent to Alexander to you. So Alexander is going to go into his web um, emails, and here you are, okay? I click to see my email, and I can see that this person, Joe Martin, phone 555, etc., etc., sent me uh, this caregiver's name, who is Thomas Anderson from Miami, Florida. So I'm going to grab all this information and I'm going to post this information in the website. How do I do that? Well, we go to the back end of the website, which is here. Remember, this is the back end. And once again, all of this, anything that has to do with an article or a caregiver, is done here, where it says post. Okay? So, we're going to click on post. All posts. Now, click on add new. The name of this person was, let me refer back to the email, um, Thomas Anderson, right here. So, Thomas Anderson.
question. And next, I am going to choose a category. This is very important. This is what's going to, um, uh, it's going to give the path. If you choose blog, this is going to show on this section of the page here. And you don't want it there. You just want it to be where the caregivers are. So you need to choose caregiver, not blog. Okay? If you were writing an article, then you would choose blog. And it would show right on this section. And also on the blog section. So anyways, with that being said, um, now the next thing I'm going to do is click on Elementor. This is an amazing program, by the way. I mean, I wish I, I didn't know anything about web design and I had this before. I spent till five in the morning trying to figure all this stuff and now they, they just do this so easy. Okay, we're in the back end of Elementor. We're going to click on this folder here. And now, my templates. And finally, you're going to check caregiver layout. This is a layout that I created for you to always use as a template for you. Click on insert. Yes. Okay, so this is the, the template right here. Now, as you notice, when you hover your mouse on top of the information, it, it shows this little lines, this little pencil, it means that you can edit this information. All the editing is going to happen here, on this section here, okay? And I'm, I'll show you how that happens. When I click on Robert Smith, see, on this section, this little window opens with different uh, parameters that you can change, styles, typography, text shadow, woof, it's that plenty of stuff you don't need to be concerned with at this point. So we're going to change this name to uh, this person whose name was Thomas Anderson. Okay. Thomas Anderson. As you can see, we already changed it here. This person is a caregiver at um, Mercy Hospital. He comes from Miami, home of Florida. See? And this information, I'm not going to type all this, but you already get the message how this is done. It's very simple. Here you can uh, put, actually, I'll do it. This is what I, I got from this lady. Um, Thomas performed a great job, and my mom was very satisfied, etc. So we're going to put this here, paste it right here. Oops. Paste. There we go. See? It's here. Once this has been done, you need to click on Publish. And that should be it. Now we're going to exit back to the um, back to the uh, back end of the website. You click on this little thing here. Okay. And you choose Exit to Dashboard. And now you're ready. If you want to add another person, you click on Add New. But anyways, here it is. Um, we have updated it through Elementor. But I don't think, uh, yes, it, it should have been saved too. Let's see if it's saved. I'm going to go to Search a Caregiver. And there it is, Thomas Anderson, caregiver at Mercy Hospital, Miami, Florida, and the bed manners by my mom. So as you can see, it worked. It's right here. But you are not finished. There is one last thing you need to do, which is this here. Let me show you. Remember the rating. And the rating needs to be done through the outside of the website. So now, as the webmaster, this is Alexander who's working here, not, not the user. This is you. You're just 
using this information that was sent to you to put on the page. So here we go. Now we click on see more about this caregiver. You click, I'm sorry. And you want to rate this caregiver so you start the discussion. You click on this field and you want to say, um, actually, um, well, this, this is it. This is all there is for now. I'm going to put this here. And you cannot just put this and not rate him. You need to rate him. If you try to post his comments, it's going to tell you select one of the options. So I'm going to put in words of four, four, four. Now, before you get confused, this is my website. As I told you before, therefore, I did not change this to your attribute. I just have the old one, fast, friendly, knowledge, remember? So don't worry about this. This is to make the demonstration. Once this is all done, you click post comment. And there you have it. The post is here. Uh, this, what you see here, the TNT, whatever this is, okay. This is actually a username from WordPress because I am logged in. So this is thinking that I am me. I'm the one, the webmaster putting the, the uh, I'm sorry, let me not confuse you. What's going to happen here is that this name, this is going to be your name. It's going to be Alexander, okay? So that, that's very simple. And any other person that comes through the outside, any other person that comes, all they have to do is once they get to the page, they will go to um, the listing by search a caregiver. And they will see not just this one, but other. And all they have to do is click on see more about this caregiver. And they'll be able to comment on this caregiver. See, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to write whatever here. Post. And there you have it. There's a new post. See? So this is how this works. It's very simple. Uh, the person, if it already exists, they can rate this person. If it doesn't exist, they can submit um, to you the information of the caregiver so you can put it on the website. And you will use the form that will be sent to you with the only difference that once you're done with, once you are done with up to this, okay? This other information here, wow, that was terrible. This other information here, okay, needs to be done through the outside of the website. You have to do it yourself. Okay, so let me just move on to another video, but this was basically the most important of all things. Oh, I'll show you that on the next video, actually.